this dude is bad. Big on style and funkalicious soundtracks, EW is counting down 10 facts you may not have known about some of Hollywood's most iconic black exploitation films. Don't be me. During shooting of the groundbreaking Sweet Sweetback's Badass song, Director Melvin Van Peoples performed all of his own stunts on a largely self-funded shoestring budget. Not only did Van Peoples write, direct, co-produce, and edit at Sweetback, he also wrote the score, which was performed by a then up-and-coming band out of Chicago, calling themselves Earth, Wind, and Fire. Van Peoples' son, Mario, who would go on to direct the classic 1991 crime drama, New Jack City, played Sweetback as a child in the movie. The iconic Cadillac El Dorado, driven by Superfly's narcotics dealer Priest, played by Ron O'Neill, was owned by a real-life Harlem hustler and pimp named KC. Curtis Mayfield wrote the title song of Superfly on his Fender Rhodes piano in just five minutes. The track is just one of several songs of the Superfly soundtrack that has been covered or sampled by everyone from Ice-T to the Beastie Boys to Mary J. Blige. The script for Superfly was only 45 pages, which explains why director Gordon Parks Jr., the son of famed director Gordon Parks, filmed so many scenes of actors walking and driving. Pam Greer came up with the idea for Coffee, her ass kicky vigilante heroine, to hide weapons in her prodigious afro. The home of mafia boss villain Arturo Vitrani was actually owned by cowboy Western film icon Roy Rogers. Coffee's vengeful, sawed off shotgun line This is the end of your rotten life, you motherfucking dope pusher is one of the most memorable quotes in film history. Now, I assume you've got complete protection from the police, have you? Of course. When Greer was first asked why she did so many nude scenes in coffee, she explained, society created this mystery about the vagina, the breast. When you create a mystery, people want to see it and attack it if they can't have it. So I was like, here's the mystery. I hope I bore you and you'll never get a hard on again. What's up, good people? It's your boy, Keith Murphy guest editor of Entertainment Weekly's A Celebration of Black Film. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please pick up a copy of this special issue on newsstands or on Amazon.